Okay. Next, I'm going to talk about the Violin 3 assessment. Um, according to the Violin 3 assessment, adaptive behavior follows four important principles. Adaptive behavior is age-related. Adaptive behavior is evaluated in social contexts. Adaptive behavior is modifiable, and adaptive behavior is defined by typical performance, not by ability. So this assessment consists of three forms, the teacher, parent, caregiver, and interview form. These three administration formats help to describe each client's profile from a different, important point of view. These forms are called a multiple rater, so it provides feedback as well as assessing the skills of the individual. The interview form versus the parent caregiver form both cover <coughs> same areas and both require adult informant familiar with the examinee's everyday functioning. The parent caregiver form can be a source of under or over reporting either deliberately or unintentionally. The interview format allows for the clinician to correct this and to probe more deeply for understanding. The interview form is the gold standard but is not always feasible due to time, location, etc. Each section assesses a different area, communication, daily living skills, socialization, motor skills, and maladaptive behavior. The age range is 0 to 90 years old. This assessment looks at the following specific areas of concern, intellectual and developmental disabilities, autism spectrum disorder, traumatic brain injury, hearing impairment, and dementia, Alzheimer's disease. When conducting the assessment, it's important to always write the, the date and the scoring is as follows, um, 0, 1, or 2. <coughs> so 2, the student can perform skills most of the time. 1, um, can perform the skills sometimes with help. And 0 is never perform the skill without help. Each section is called a scale. And if you aren't starting at the beginning of a scale and you circle 5 scores of 2 in a row, you can continue with the section. But if you don't have 5 to circle, then you will reverse and go back up until you have five twos in a row, then you can finish the section. If you're starting at the beginning of a section, then you don't need five scores of two. If you have five scores of zero, then you automatically stop the section, and this is called the ceiling, and you should move on to the next section. If you come across a question that you've never seen the child perform, then you can circle estimated response. The assessment takes um, about 60 minutes to complete. Um, the first domain is the communication domain. The subdomain is receptive, expressive, and written. So some questions in this section are as follows. Um, says his own first name. Names at least three actions. Says his age when asked. Um, the next domain is daily living skills. And the subdomain is personal and or community. Some questions in this section are can feed himself with a spoon without spilling uses the toilet when needed without help, puts on clothing that opens in the front, washes and dries his hands. The next domain is socialization and the subdomain here is play and leisure. Some questions in this section are recognizes the gender of himself and others, plays with peers for five minutes under supervision, helps others when asked, shares toys and possessions when asked to do so. The next domain is motor skills um, and the subdomain is fine motor and gross motor. So some questions here can be throw a ball of any size in a specific direction, jumps off the ground with both feet without falling, safely climbs up and down high objects. Um, the last section is the maladaptive behavior section um, and the subdomain is internalizing and externalizing. Um, this domain can be optional. It's um, dependent if the student has any problem behavior that interferes with um, his or her daily routine. Some questions in this domain are, is overly needy or dependent, has eating problems, is extremely anxious or nervous, is very irritable or moody. Um, the Violent 3 assessment confirms and establishes intellectual disability, diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder, Asperger's syndrome, and developmental delays. The assessment, it's a well-known functional measure. It's used for research and clinical purposes. Um, this assessment's an adaptive structure that looks at skills and things that people do in their everyday lives. Um, the three forms, um, parent, caregiver, teacher, and interview form, they ask specific questions of the family and or teacher to determine the deficits that the student has um, in adaptive functioning. And the Violin 3 offers um, two options to take the assessment, hand scoring and digital.